Taylorsville is a very small community. So we're at the foothills of the mountain and the country and the scenery is so pretty. Taylor King started in 74 by my parents, Herman and Rachel Shook. I was small enough that I was still roller skating through the factory. Taylor King really evolved from the town of Taylorsville. There's no Mr. Taylor or no Mr. King. Taylor from Taylorsville, King meaning the best. We introduce uh, approximately 100 fabrics to every market. We get our inspirations from everywhere. You know, people always ask you what's, you know, what's the upcoming trend or what are you looking at or what's this. And honestly, we're looking at everything. We don't go into a market introduction saying, we're doing this. We're looking at everything and then we'll be inspired by what we see. I think one of the things that's most unseen is how many different hands touch a specific chair or a sofa or an ottoman, whatever's coming through the factory. We really truly are a hand-built product. When the order enters the factory, of course the first process is cutting. And we just don't cut a piece of fabric and then just let it be applied any way on a piece of furniture. One of the strengths of Taylor King's line is the diversity of fabrics. Um, and how well they correlate and having something very transitional and having something for Texas or having something for California or New York or Michigan, it's, it's all different. If you've got this beautiful floral print and it's got a beautiful vine running down the middle of the fabric, we want to see that, that whole interpretation of that beautiful fabric just, just like you've draped it from top to bottom on the piece of furniture, uninterrupted and everything matching perfectly. We're mindful to all of that, just like we are with our furniture designs that we select. When Daddy started the business, he had some sewers, but he decided he needed to get his wife in the business. And so he sent her to a very well-known furniture manufacturer to learn to sew. And she was there probably three years or so and came back to Taylor King to run the sewing department. You've got certain ladies that just strictly sew the components of the cushions. Then you have others that do their specialty as throw pillows. And then you have others that their specialty is what's actually sewn together to cover the frame. My first job was pressing skirts and sewing fabric swatches. So that's what I was doing at 14. While everyone else got to go play with their friends, I came in to work. My passion is fabrics. I love textiles. I love fabrics. I love all the constructions and the colorations and everything that goes into that. We make our own frames out of Appalachian hardwood and we start with the finest maple lumber that you can find that's grown in our region and we bring that in and we mill it and we, we make our frame parts. Then it all comes together, product development starts working on the frames and we're sitting and we're analyzing and oh that arm just needs to be a little skinny or it needs to be a little fatter or ooh I don't like how that sits and, and we have all different body types sit in everything because you know just if I'm 5'5 five five and someone that's 6'2 how does it fit them differently? We can make to any custom length, depth, if it's a tall person we can do a taller seat height. The only time we give you a no on a customization is if we physically can't do it, if it can't be done. And then we go into where the frame's assembled and they know that what we expect is a frame that, that goes together and joined together with supportive corner blocks and all the things that make it come together so it's a, a frame that will last a lifetime. I'm kind of like the mother of Taylor King because I float through the factory in all areas from the basement where we make our frames to the cutting tables, trying to figure out which layout we're gonna use or maybe if this is first quality fabric, if not, we're sending it back because we are so particular. We offer 40 plus different finishes and any wood species can really then take its own life depending on whether it's a, a light, lighter, more transparent finish to a multi-step, uh, finish with a gold accent. It all brings the frame to life. Three of us on the design team and we're pretty good because you have that odd number so somebody can, you know, it's two against one, but Dell, our president, definitely has the veto power. Sometimes you have to leave the room and come back and start over, but it's, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of conversations about nail head trim, what finish nail head trim, what finish wood, should it have welt cord, no welt cord, how many pillows, what kind of pillow, add another pillow. It's 
yes. It's a um, pretty great process. We have stiffer, higher gauged coils that go next to the arm. So you're sitting in that sofa, you're not falling into the corner. We have softer springs in the back, so you really get down into the piece and you got the proper pitch in the frame. I've got a great team of girls that I personally hired each and every one. When I interviewed them, the first thing I said was, I'm very particular who I bring in here. I have to tell you this one story. I'm in final inspection looking at some product coming through and it's right at the time for us to, to leave. And Kelly's walking toward the time clock and he says, uh, Dell, do you see anything wrong with that chair that you're looking at? So I'm looking all over, I'm trying to find a really, I'm looking for a defect. And I said, you know, no Kelly, I don't. And he says, that's great, because I built that chair today. And you, how great is that? That you can have somebody that taken that kind of pride, and uh, that's just the kind of, of, of folks we have, that and the pride they take in building our product. We do have a final exam twice a year. It's called the April High Point Market and the October High Point Market. So you have hundreds and hundreds of people with discriminating eyes coming to look at what you did and we're very opinionated. Every designer is opinionated and so you want to impress them and inspire them and have them fall in love with your line. So we do this twice a year and it's a process and we love what we do and um, it's creative. We love it. That's all our passion, and, and it's so fun that we can help create that while keeping what our customers want from us in mind. Taylor King is family, and it is a family that takes great pride in their product. And we have wonderful people who are constantly searching to make things better. Everybody in our world of Taylorsville and Hickory and Conover Everyone knows furniture. I mean, everybody has either worked in it or their mom or dad has, or somehow they're connected to furniture, manufacturing, or fabrics, or something. Furniture making, whether it's wood or upholstery, has been in our area for over 100 years. And specifically, the craftsmanship in upholstery is alive and well. From the front office, to keying in orders correctly, to the final wrapping stage and shipping the products. We want the best product. In a nice little printed piece that accompanies the production ticket throughout the factory, there's a place for the craftspeople to, to sign their name. The cutter, the sewer, the upholsterer, the trimmer, the final inspection where they actually put their name as it passes through every department. They've created this piece of art for your home. And uh, not many companies do that. We're as about as perfect as you can be, and we, we really strive for that to be the perfect product, the perfect seat, the perfect fabric.